Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out You Can Be's brand new liquid lipstick and lip liner set. So this set is called Ladies Night. It features six liquid lipsticks and six lip liners and you also do get a little kind of prep and prime kind of lip primer situation as part of the set. This is what all of the liquid lipsticks look like. They definitely do focus around like nude -y kind of shades. We have a lot of uh, different variations of nude. We've got nude pinks, nude browns, new peaches and then we move into the kind of deeper shades we've got it like a scarlet red a burn orange and then we've got the deepest shade in the set which is almost like an aubergine kind of purpley brown but this set is available on aliexpress for 11 pounds which if the formula of the lip liners and liquid lipsticks is good then i think that 11 pounds for basically 13 products i think that's pretty fair also just to mention you can be to send this to me so that i could review it as always if there's something that i don't like i will definitely be telling you i'll be giving you my full uncensored honest views yes my brass strap is showing and i've been trying to cover this up and it, it mm. Please don't judge me for this. My other bras are in the wash and I only had this green one. So I do apologise. If you see her people, look, she's peeping out again now. She just is dying to peep on out. So uh, please don't give her the attention that she so desires. I am going to be jumping in and trying every single product in this set. I have prepared my lips for it this morning i've said to them this is going to be an ordeal this will be an ordeal but my plan of attack is i'm going to apply show and then get the fecker off before it has time to set and then i will be wearing one of them for like a kind of like an all day kind of wear test well not all day that just sounds like an awful time but i'll be wearing one for a few hours so that i can give you my thoughts on how it wears so with all of that being said we are going to jump in. I want you to sit back. I want you to relax. Take off your bra. Take off your shoes. Get yourself a nice warm cup of tea. And let's dive right into this. Okay, so I think that the shade that I want to do like an all day wear test with is going to be the nude pink. So I'm going to just leave that out for now. And we're going to come to that one at the end. So we're going to move upwards from the lighter shades to the darker shades and I'm going to start off applying the lip primer. I don't really use lip primers. I just feel like probably a bit of a waste of time. Like I've got to the age of 37 and I've never really ever felt the need to use a lip primer. So this isn't something that I would probably reach for and purchase. But seeing as we have it, I'm going to give it a go. It comes in this beautiful kind of matte purple uh, tube, which I think looks really nice. Oh, oh, I was expecting it to be like, you know, like a lip gloss with a little doe foot, but no, she is a kind of a lipstick bullet style. She's clear. She doesn't really have a smell. I mean, I don't really know what this is supposed to do, but I imagine it's maybe supposed to just provide a bit moisturised for your lips. Are you just a glorified lip balm? Because I think you are. I do. But you feel really nice going on. Like very, like, you know, soft and silky and my lips definitely look good and they feel good so i'm not hating on it well i am actually but i'm not i just think it's an unnecessary product but anyway okay so we're going in with the nude brown first the packaging is really really nice i'm loving this whole matte purple i think they've obviously really thought about the packaging and i think it looks really really good okay so this is a stylo type of lip liner so lip stylos are my absolute favorites because i do not want to have to be like messing about with a sharpener okay so i will just do a swatch oh it's a really bad swatch but i think it looks really really pretty i hope that the lip liners are at least a couple of shades deeper than the liquid lipsticks just so that they make a real impact 
Okay, so I think that, that went on absolutely beautifully. It was definitely very easy to apply. It's very smooth and creamy. And I think it, the, the shade itself is very pigmented. I do want to say right now, I apologise in advance for my awful lip liner application. I'm no good at applying lip liner. So please, please don't judge me too harshly because you're going to be seeing my application six times. But you never know, maybe I'll get better on the sixth time. I might just use this as a practice session. Probably not. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the liquid lipstick. I will just do a little swatch. Okay, so actually, I thought that this was going to be a bit lighter than how it actually looks, but it's okay, we'll just go with it. So these don't really have a smell of anything, although maybe a little bit of like a chocolate smell. I actually don't know if the lip primer is actually helping me or hindering me because especially when I was applying the lip liner and yes, hold my hands up, not very good at applying lip liner, but it was definitely causing my, like the line to wiggle and waggle about everywhere. Again, I don't really think the lip primer is 100% needed. That lip primer is potentially hindering, you know, the liquid lipstick from actually adhering to my lips because I think that that lip primer is most likely going to be oil based. It's just causing like the liquid lipstick maybe not to sink in and set on my lips. So I actually definitely now feel that the lip primer is not necessary and actually making things harder. Okay, so this is what that shade looks like. I absolutely love the shade. It's a very kind of, I'd say, I thought it was gonna be like a nude brown from how it looked in the tube, but actually it's an extremely beautiful kind of warm, brown and I think it's very grungy. I really, really like it. Does it look a bit patchy? Yes, but I kind of think that that's down to the very emollient lip primer. Ironically, I think the lip primer is stopping the liquid lipstick from looking as good as it could do. This is what the shade looks like and I really, really love it. So now that we've done like this first impression, I am going to pop you in fast forward whilst I apply the rest and then I will see you on the other side. <laughs>
okay so for the most part i actually really really enjoyed the formula of these lip products and also the shades although some of the shades particularly the deeper shades definitely would benefit from two coats so this is the last shade i applied yes i know i applied really really badly and if anything like instead of my application improving as i went on through the shades it deteriorated i know but for example this shade here absolutely gorgeous but it is patchy so it would definitely benefit from a secondary coat and i think that that would sort the patchiness right out one thing that did surprise me about the formula of these liquid lipsticks was that they definitely do dry down but they're not like a flat matte which i think looks really really unflattering with a liquid lipstick because it just makes your lips look dry if you've got any lines on your lips it will definitely highlight them but i do find that these liquid lipsticks had a little bit of like a sheen to them like a glow they just had a bit of life to them and i really enjoyed that i think i actually preferred the lip liners to the liquid lipsticks just because they were super smooth and actually really really easy to apply and for me to say that about any lip liner is quite the feat because i definitely do struggle with applying lip liner but these were the easiest lip liners that i've ever applied ever the only thing that i would say in terms of like just a packaging kind of suggestion would be i wish that they had something on the lip liners to indicate what shade it was whether that be like a little sticker around the top or even just like a shade name on it because the first thing i'm going to do when i finish this video is i'm going to get all of these beautiful lip liners and i'm going to pop them in my lip liner tub but in order for me to actually know which lip liner it is that i need i'm going to like get them out take the lid off and actually just like do a swatch which Ah, oh, that seems like a lot of hard work and it's a shame because these lip liners are such good quality so i would just say to you can be it'd be brilliant if going forward maybe like you could consider just putting like the sticker with the shade on or something like that just so it makes them really easy to identify because i know that a lot of people are going to love these lip liners they're going to be so popular so just to enable everyone to get the most enjoyment out of them i think that would really really help but if i had to say which were my favorite shades it's a tough one really because i really like the nude brown and i love the red and i love the burnt orange the burnt orange actually surprised me most because it's quite a unique shade i was thinking it was just gonna be like flat matte burn orange but no it actually had life to it and it almost had like a hint of a gold like bronze gold or bronze i think bronze but i really really enjoyed that one it was rather a unique shade so yeah i thought that they were like real standouts for me particularly like the red oh the red i just felt like a right mix and but i do really enjoy this shade as well it's giving me very like grungy gothic 90s vibes okay so i'm going to take all this off i'm going to go in with the nude pink and then i'm going to be wearing that for the rest of the day okay so this is the beautiful nude pink shade i absolutely love this and it's probably my favorite shade in the whole bunch but i have about a million of this same shade and um, it's very like generic and i'm sure that you've probably got this exact same shade somewhere in your collection that's not to say it's not absolutely gorgeous because it really really is and that's probably the reason why we all have it in all of our collections but um i mean i think it's beautiful i mean i'm not in any way criticizing it i'm just saying that it's not I, Ugh, I don't know what I'm saying. I think it's just saying it's not super unique, but it's still so beautiful. Like, so this is going to be the shade that I wear for the next few hours and I will be back shortly and I'll give you my final thoughts focusing on how this liquid lipstick actually wore over time. Okay, so it is about three hours later. I know I kind of said, well, I didn't really. I didn't commit to leaving this on for the rest of the day because I honestly would not ever leave a liquid lipstick on all day. But I've left it out for the past three hours. Does it feel dry? a bit but not as dry as my Too Faced Melted Matte or even my Melt Cosmetics liquid lipstick. It doesn't feel as dry as the majority of other liquid lipsticks I've tried but I can definitely still feel it. I think it would be completely 
unrealistic to expect that you know you could have a long wearing liquid lipstick and not find it a bit uncomfortable on the lips because the whole reason why it's long wearing is because it dries down and it just like it locks itself in place but i must say i absolutely love this formula it's lasted really really well i ate some of my breakfast i had some of my new caramelized onion and something crisps i don't know what they are but they're delicious apparently they're made from root like beans they're like bean crisps but they're perfect i love them so i had some of those and i also had a chopped up apple and do you know what this has held up really really well actually it's held up really well oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh so guys yes i have to say giving it the snaps yes i am impressed i would say overall for £11, oh my gosh, this is an absolute bargain. I would 100% recommend this to you. I don't think you could go wrong with this. I think there would be at least half of the shades in here that you would absolutely love and you would reach for. I think if you're like me and you generally struggle to apply lip liners, these lip liners are the most perfect ones I've ever used because they're so creamy smooth. They just, and they're pigmented and they go on and I just really love them. I really am impressed with the lip liners even more than the liquid lipsticks. But, oh my gosh guys, well done to you can be bringing us this set of absolutely smoking hot lip products. I, I think they have a really created a wonderful set here so well, well done to you can be. Oh, also I, did, I wanted to say as well because after I finished filming I was thinking this. And I said, I'm going to make sure that you mention this in the final bit. So I'm getting really distracted. A really nice green motorbike went past. I think I'm turning into my youngest son here, getting distracted by motorbikes. But yeah, it's right. So traditionally with AliExpress, I've not been a big fan of liquid lipsticks from AliExpress because I find that they uh, tend to deepen up in colour. So they look really nice in the tube. They look nice when you initially swatch them when you initially apply them but then they deepen up over the minutes that you have them on your lips and I don't like that because I feel like I've just been lied to. These are the only liquid lipsticks that I've tried from AliExpress that remain true to colour. Also they're the only liquid lipsticks from AliExpress where they don't smell of shit like and by shit I mean some kind of really sickly artificial apple scent that just makes you feel really sick these have no scent whatsoever and for that i love them even more anyway guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna wash all of my makeup off and um i'm gonna watch ink master because i'm so addicted to ink master i've literally watched like from series 13 to series 2 just back to back to back to back to back to back, to back. I just love Ink Master, really. But anyway, I'm going to go do that. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you again to You Can Be for sending me this lip set. I really love it. And thank you to you guys for watching. Hope to see you in the next round. Bye.